Hello dear students. Today we are going to learn about Rydberg constant experiment. So at first we need to know the list of apparatus we are going to use. This is high voltage source for discharge tube. This one is discharge tube. Okay, we are using hydrogen discharge tube. This is called diffraction grating. Here number of rulings are 300 lines per millimeter. Now, this setup is called spectrometer. And in the middle, the diffraction grating has been placed. So, spectrometer has three parts. The first one is collimeter. Collimeter will face the light and this part called telescope. This part will face our eyes. The first step, collimeter, diffraction grating and telescope all will be in same line, straight line. Then only we will be able to find direct image. Next step is find the spectrum. Spectrum means color. So if we move the telescope little bit angle that is towards our left from straight line position. So we are going to find their left spectrum and there will be violet color first, then green, then yellow color and then red color. Next again if we move towards our right side we are going to find right spectrum and same color will be seen repeatedly. We have to take reading for each color from both sides, left side as well as right side and we have to take reading from both the scale, vernier 1 and vernier 2, scales of spectrometer. Now, to take reading, we have to place the telescope cross wire on the particular color we are going to take reading. Here you can see I have placed it at violet color. So, we are going to take reading for violet color. So, at first I am going to write number of rulings of the reading that is 300 lines per millimeter. Okay. Then value of vernier constant of spectrometer, spectrometer's vernier constant is, there is one small division is half degree. Okay, so vernier constant will be 1 minus 59 by 60 into half, that means 1 by 120 degree. Okay, so now I have taken violet color for left side. Spectrum on left side and the color I have taken violet color. So we have already discussed that we have to take V1 as well as V2. Vernier 1 and Vernier 2. Vernier 1 I have seen 330 and Vernier 2 I have seen circular scale reading I have seen 150. Now 330 for Vernier scale reading I have seen 10 and 150 also I have seen 10. Okay, so what we have to do, we have to do total reading. How to do total reading? Total means this circular scale reading addition, this 10, that means vernier scale reading multiplied by vernier constant. That will be our total reading. I will do the calculation later. Now I am going to take blue green reading and red reading. So just like violet color, I have placed red color. I will take reading for red color from the both side of vernier scale. So just check the scale and take reading. So one by one I have taken all the color reading from both side left spectrum and right spectrum. Now calculation part. To find read work constant we have to find lambda first that means wavelength of each and every color first. 
So we have formula and we are going to apply that to find lambda. So I have calculated lambda red, lambda blue green and lambda violet. Now I will calculate Rydberg constant that is RH. So I am going to calculate Rydberg constant for red color, blue green and violet. Then we are going to take average Rydberg constant. We know the actual value of Rydberg constant. So we can easily find out the percentage of error for this experiment. That's it. So this is the end of the experiment.